You may remember back in 2020, I released two videos about the history of Leeds Station and the rivers that flowed beneath. All of this was done from the outside, using old maps and writings as the content. Well this time, we're back, but not on the outside. We have been given special permission to head behind the locked doors and below the streets and viaducts to see it for real. Most of this will be lost, infilled or reconfigured in the upcoming works to build a brand new entrance plaza to the station. So this is our last chance to view it as it was, and why we have been allowed to document it for your entertainment. In this video we will be looking at what is under the station building and the Queen's Hotel. The next episode will be more focused on following the Old River Air or King's Mill Goit as it became known. Before we begin, I would like to give you a brief lesson on the station's history. Before the railways or canals appeared in Leeds, the River Air split into two channels through the town, a small northern narrow section that followed Swinegate, and the southern and much larger section that used a weir and was later joined up with the Leeds-Liverpool Canal. Leeds Wellington Station opened in 1846 as a small temporary structure. A much larger and more permanent station was built on the site in 1850, joined by the original Queen's Hotel in 1863. The station was built over both sections of the River Air using large stone arches, the smaller section of the River Air now becoming a millgoit or a mill water source. Leeds New Station opened in 1869 alongside Wellington Station. Built at a slightly higher level and on its own stone arches over the River Air Weir, the Milgoit and the streets below. Both stations were joined as one in 1939 to become Leeds City Station, along with a much larger Queen's Hotel built over the old Wellington Station entrance and the open sections of the Milgoit. After the closure of Leeds Central Station, Leeds City Station was rebuilt at platform level in 1967. It included widening the viaducts on both sides of the station, this time using red brick. A new canopy roof and facilities were also built. As we progress under the station, you will see these various eras still evident, and you will see that the underground sections haven't changed much during these rebuilds, even if what you see on the outside has. So let's begin our explore of the historic deep level caverns, beginning directly underneath Leeds Station and the basements of the Queen's Hotel. We're now heading down to street level and below the platforms of Leeds Station. We're now going to head through this doorway here and down into some old air raid shelters under the Queen's Hotel. So we're in uh, one of the old air raid shelters underneath Leeds Station and this is amazing. Old toilet block and again look, Armitage bricks. It smells of uh, real damp down here. But uh, it would do with it being, uh, well, lots of waterways running through it. So check out these uh, old doors here. And you can see the old stained glass there, look. So vintage. Must be from the 1930s, that maybe. You can see that stonework up there from the arches above. And then the red brick. And just lots of these little doorways here that lead through tunnel to tunnel. They are old air raid shelters and a fireplace there, look. An old fireplace, let's have a look up there. It's all blocked up now. You can see where it would have gone. And those little uh, cubby holes. That is fantastic. So look, numbering on there. Another room up there, look like a loft space. Wow. Just a fine example up here, look. 
you can see there where there's been a previous archway that ran under the station and they've just cut through it with this building here. There's so many layers down here, so many years. You've got breeze blocks, you've got bricks, you've got stone, you've got everything. And lots of uh, drainage or air vents, as you can see up there. I wonder what that is up there. Oh, looks like a cinema room. <laughs> so we're currently underneath what is the Queen's Hotel in Leeds. Uh, so the station's just to the side of us. And uh, we're making our way under the Queen's Hotel. And these are the air raid shelters down below. So this is where my microphone decided to pack up. Here you can see many more rooms down in these air raid shelters. And a nice doorway that's been bricked up with breeze blocks. And just on this section here you can see the many different sections under Leeds Station or the Queen's Hotel. You've got the old stone archway hidden in the background there and then the red brick arches which are probably a much later addition and then the air raid shelters built deep inside. So probably three separate areas there all fused together. And just a look down the side of one of those air raid shelters there. So these shelters look like they're actually built within the arch. And as you can see there, there's a little doorway. And that doorway is significant a bit later because we'll be on the other side of that. As you can see today, a lot of it is used for storage and car parking. But there's a lot of plans and work taking place down here. We're heading towards the section that leads underneath the Queen's Hotel. There's lots of storage and things down here from the hotel. And right there is Sanford Street, which heads underneath the arches and up to Neville Street. And if you look down there, at the bottom of that is what we call the Dark Arches. Lots of old relics down here on the walls. But this was an old street before the station appeared, with lots of factories and mills lining both sides of it. You can just see Neville Street right at the end there. This is now a restricted area and part of the station. All these arches back in the day would have probably been used for storage, for coal bunkers, and even things like goods and materials. So this is another section underneath what was the old Wellington station. And I'm told that this used to be some kind of railway office. It even has a toilet in there at the back. It smells old in here, isn't it? Yeah. Musty. Yeah. It's probably had many uses. Mm. And just to look through an old doorway here into one of the old arches, there's lots of these little cubby holes. Now in here is an old room where it houses these large tanks here and I'm told these were to do with the Queen's Hotel and to hold the water. Not any longer. Now this room here used to be, again, offices for the old Wellington station. Various different rooms that would have been in here at one point but we are directly below the concourse level now. And again you can see the old stonework there from Wellington station and the modern additions of the brick sections. And these old arched doorways here. And then you've got the steel girders on the top there, which would hold the platforms above. Or maybe just the concourse, which was reopened not that long ago. And a look at an old door there. Now that looks like an old loading dock to me. I don't know what they'll be loading in this section. It's hard to tell exactly where we are below the streets. And again, another look back there at some old offices that used to exist down at this level. Now I'm told all of this is going to be filled in. Okay, let's head through this doorway, through the old stone archway here. Here we go. Many more old sections again under the old Wellington Street station. As you can see today, used for air conditioning and pipe work 
and some brick sections up there which probably are for the Leeds news station at the time. Like I said, it's all been merged together now. I'm not 100% sure what they're going to do with this section, but I am told that certain bits are going to be filled in. In here we've got various storage rooms today for the retail units above in the old Wellington station. So as you know, if you go through the old Wellington station concourse, we've got McDonald's and Starbucks and all the usual suspects up there. Well, these are the storage rooms down below, used by those units. But this is mainly below, in the basement levels. So in case you remember in the station in the 80s and the 90s, and I certainly do remember them, but the old subways used to run underneath the platforms. So used to go down the stairs and under the subway to get to the other side to get up to the platforms. Now it's an overbridge over the tracks. But this is the old subway right above our heads here. So as you can see, it's not actually a subway. It's built into an old arch and half. So you can still drive underneath it. And you've got your concrete subway above. So again, built in the 60s, I think. And it had a toilet block in it as well, from what I remember. And as we're making our way down here, we've got the River Air culverts, so the River Air to our left behind this wall here. And again, if you just look up here, you can see the slope there on the concrete. So that's the stairs coming down from the old concourse above. And you would head down here and up to the platforms. I do remember using this subway to get to the end platforms for the uh, Bradford train. And if that's the staircase here, then the old gents' toilets would be right there behind this wall here. Just a look back at that structure there. You can see how it's sort of built right into the centre of the arch. So we've just made it round into the next arch. And right there, as you can see, is the toilet block. Again, built inside the arch. It's weird to think that you're in a building within a building. Yeah, it smells a bit foisty in here. <laughs> you would have entered the toilet block where I said a minute ago. You can see the corridor just there. See, we've come in from the subways into the toilets here. It's amazing. It's all disused now. So this room we're in right now is directly underneath the platforms of Leeds Station. And this used to be an old plant room. All generators and an emergency boiler in here, apparently. All stripped out now, completely empty. But yeah, this would have been some original equipment in here. Thank you very much for joining us. I hope you enjoyed our look underneath Leeds Station. Join me in the next video where we follow the historic river as it flowed under the station. We discover old buried bridges and mooring posts deep underground. I'll see you next week in the next video. Bye for now.